women and marketing. I don't know about you, but um, if you're signed up for a lot of email lists like I am, you might be getting a lot of emails about what 2019 is all about. And because I'm in the field of online business, I get a lot of emails from marketers. I kind of feel like it's my job to keep in touch with what's going on and to consume all of this because I kind of like doing it. I'm kind of geeky that way. Um, all this stuff about technology and sales and marketing and what's working and what's not working. But there's one thread that has gone straight through from the time, you know, email marketing was brand new. What would that have been about 2000? No, 1996 <laughs> through to now. So when I listen to the experts, men in particular, they have said since 2001 or so that what's working in marketing is connection and presence and service. Now, if you're like me, you think, wait, that's what I do. And in my case, I know a thousand healers and artists and coaches who've been studying how to be present and how to connect and how to heal. And we've all been doing our um, personal growth, so many women all over the world for years, you know, after the 60s and 70s, the women woke up and they went, okay, time to take our power. And then they went, wait, I'm kind of broken inside. Let me just do some inner work first because we knew that's what we needed. Let's take them one at a time. Presence, how to be with somebody, how to listen, how to hold space. Connection, shared experience, willing to be vulnerable, willing to put yourself out there and meet the person where they are. <laughs> and service. We all know about service, but service with boundaries so that we can serve the person and help them get, you know, value and help them through a transition to get to where they want to be. Maybe somewhere where we've been and we can say, come on, this is the way. Come across the bridge. Boundaries so that we don't burn ourselves out. So these are what the high level, very expensive marketers are saying. Even the women, I just got an email from a woman who's calling it the five shifts you need to make in order to grow in 2019. And she's just talking about going from being very general, sort of, hey, let's put that out there. It's the way the marketing online is, is maturing. It's obvious. But, it, but while all of this was going around and maybe some of us grabbed onto those kites a little bit and flew all over the place, you were still doing your work. You were still serving. You were still connecting with people. You were present. And you're, you're continuing to practice these things. It's not like we're perfect. One of my bodywork clients years ago said to me, oh, but Anne, you're so amazing. You're so perfect. And I'm like, that's, I pointed to my massage room and I'm like, that's where I practice being perfect. So this is where you get to practice connecting and serving and being present. And it's the most powerful marketing technique on the world, in the world, <laughs> is you and the way you show up for people and the way you keep showing up for people. And then it's just a matter of getting yourself out there. So remember that, take that to heart. Clarity creates confidence. Clarity speaks to money. Everybody loves clarity. So be clear. Your gift as a woman. So hold that inside of you. Trust yourself. And let's go get it. This Riverbanks and Flow is going to be ongoing. And um, in about two weeks, maybe less, I will be putting out my first of the year three-part series where I teach you more about this marketing technique and how women do it and how to get your programs and your courses and your projects online. 
and it's a three-part series where we go through every little bit and so if you want to be signed up for that click the link below also please leave me a note or a message below and let me know what you'd like to hear me talk about i'm going to be doing these talks every week riverbanks and flow blessings to you all